Welcome to Haven Colony. The links for the stream will be in the description below. And if it's not there, feel free to add me in the comments below. Speaking of which, uh, like and comment if you want to uh, support this channel in the algorithm. And uh, what do you say we just get cracking on with the campaign? Welcome and the we're going for Hall of One. As the governor of humanity's first colony outside the solar... And, um, hello? Well, hopefully this game doesn't turn out to be another Manilors, because, um, that's a trash. And I think Manilors had better stability than this one, and that game only trashed 20 minutes in. And we, and it's only been, like, what, five minutes? And has already been, uh, one crash? Because, um, yeah, I don't know what's causing all that instability. Okay, let's try this one again. Welcome to the Avon Expedition. As the governor... We've created this brief training exercise to introduce you to the colony governance system. Yes, I'm doing the tutorial first. Think we just need to move the camera around. I click and drag on the ground to move the camera. Move the mouse uh, to the edge of the viewport to stroll. Drag up or down with the right middle or uh, with the right or middle mouse button to tilt. Drag left or right with the right or middle mouse button to rotate, like so. Do we need to rotate the camera using the keyboard? Mouse wheel to zoom. Click on a building to select it, like so. And you just get this uh, little readout right here. And you can automatically pan the camera by double clicking on anything or pressing the home key. Really, game? How many crashes are we going to have uh, today? Because that's just another trash. Crash number two. For two minutes. This has got to be the most unstable game I have ever tested. Wonder if it's uh, something with its settings. Uh, and if I just haven't uh, set too high. Hmm. Because, um, this is kind of embarrassing for the devs. To have this game be so unstable that you can't even get past the tutorial on how to control the freaking camera. Yeah, Team 17, shame on you. For releasing this, uh, game in this state. Hmm, luckily for me, I'm still within the, uh, refund window for this game, because, um, yeah. Hmm... Like the alien scene, um... Let's turn you down to... Medium. Resolution quality, knock you down him too high. Ah, uh -huh. just, uh, knock you all down some, uh, settings and see if that helps with my, uh, laptop. Yeah, if you want to pick up this laptop that I'm currently using, uh, for yourself, well, there's an affiliate link, uh, to the Amazon page for this laptop. Along with a review uh, for this laptop that I uh, recorded and stuck on another channel. I probably should cross post in that video to be brutally honest with you. Oh well, let's try this one again. You better not crash this time, game. Otherwise, this is gonna. Are you kidding me? Oh dear. Crash number three. Yeah, I think it's, uh. Avon Colony might just be. A refund, because I don't know what's going on here. Hmm. Is my laptop just not powerful enough? Because it's a 4070 and a 13900H laptop with 32 gigs of RAM, if you're wondering. So, um. Hmm. Let's try this one again. And just, uh, turn on the automatic render quality. Hopefully that fits his things. Right, why would I have a save game? Let's try this one again. Welcome and you better not crash on me a, expedition. a fourth As time. Yes, I already saw that. We've created this brief training exercise to okay, I'm gonna go back to where I was before, and I'll see you then. Assuming this game doesn't crash on me again. Right. I guess we're back to where I was before. And welcome to auto planning the well at least that part of the tutorial. You can automatically pan the camera by double clicking on anything or pressing the home key. Hmm. 
And double click on the terrain to stroll to a point. And double click on a building or to center the camera on that building. And hover over the mouse over the nanite indicator to show a tooltip. Through the nanites and in inventories, the structures extracting metals, zero structures converting to nanites. Build iron slash copper mines to extract metals, build nanite processors to convert metals to nanites. Okay, open the mines menu, glowing indicator, and click the mine. And mining tier one. Hmm. And I just see you go right here. And run the hollow sum at one speed. Increase the uh, game speed to uh, fast times two and very fast times four. And allow drones to complete construction in the mine. And put the game pause image at the top of the uh, screen to unpause. And change the uh, game speed uh, using the one, which is pause, two, three, four, or five. Hmm. That seems wrong to me. I think space should be pause. Really? Really, devs? Oh, well. Each day on it, even Prime is tall as hell, but it lasts much longer than a day on old Earth. The progress bar to the left of the game speed controls... Show the progress of time through the turn soul. A soul is divided into four seasons. During winter, the sun goes down. It becomes difficult to grow food, and solar panels generate less electricity. And this is why nuclear energy is best energy. It doesn't have that problem. Hey, right. and you hover over the uh, seasons progress bar in the lower left corner, which is this one right here. And building tunnels. Avon's low oxygen environment requires us to uh, medically seal the colony's internal atmosphere. That means that uh, instead of construction of roads, you'll use air sealed tunnels to, to connect all of your structures. Click the tunnel bouncing icon below, which is right here. Click to drive the in a line to, to place tunnels along the line shown. Wait for the drones to complete construction of the tunnels. Okay. Hmm. Right. And, yep. Well, I guess it's time to get this, uh, game ticking on. And now the, uh, thing is done. I've already electricity indicator at bottom, flashing red. Right, so... Yeah, 43 electricity demanded and 36, uh, supplied. That sounds like a problem. Hmm. No structures in your colony either produce or consume electricity. Electricity is automatically distributed uh, through all connected structures. Tunnels are an inexpensive way to distribute electricity, so make sure all to connect all of your structures with tunnels to allow the free flow of electricity around your colony. If your electricity supply dips below demand, buildings uh, will be automatically shut off until balance is restored, starting with the most distant buildings from any power source. When a building loses power, the lights of its, uh, the lights at it, the corner of its base will flash red. As you can see, the storage depot has lost power. The mine and tunnel that we built pushed our electricity demand past our colony supply. So now we have to build some, uh, solar panels. Mmm. Sorium generators, um, hmm. I think that's a nuclear uh, reactor equivalent. Hmm. Right, so I just have to place it right here. And time for the drones to do their thing. Like so. Hmm. And now, uh,. Yep, that's the population indicator. Zoom in uh, on a tunnel to enter surveillance mode or press uh, thumb mouse button two. Hmm. Ah. Like so. And you can also select colonists at any time. 
And his panel was, uh, supplying with, uh, relevant information about that individual as determined by our scanners. Hmm. It sure would be helpful if I knew where Connus was. Hmm. Nope, not there. Hi, Governor. What can I do for you? Right. I guess that was the easy way. Zoom out to view the colony from above, like so. And zoom out from satellite camera mode to view the overworld map. Which is, uh, this thing. And that's the awesome one completed. On to the next tutorial. Created this training exercise to introduce Hopefully there's no crashes here. Concepts in colony management. All right. And I guess uh, it's going to teach us about how to manage the food supply. Your colonists need food and water to survive. As your colony expands, you will have more hungry and more hungry mouths to feed. If you've ever played any colony sim game, you know exactly how this works. Okay, so open the colony control panel. Hmm. Alright, so as you can see, your inventory currently on. It seems only ration pads and some rice. You can move over the, any of these resources. Well, you can mouse over any of these resources for more info. I don't know why words aren't wording, but welcome to speech impediment town. Population, me. At least on this channel. Okay, so I guess it's off to uh, build some tunnels again. And now it's time to sit back and wait for the drones to do their thing. Alright, so here's the farm. It's the one with the plants icon. And uh, select horn on the cross plane before placing the farm. And that'd be this one. Hmm. And now it's time to sit back and wait for the drones to do their thing. Hmm. Alright, so overlays, which is uh, this button right here. Select the employment overlay. And yep. This just teaches you uh, the residential structures, building with buildings with workers, and worker priority. And the employment overlay shows where our colonists live and work. The purple bars represent where the colonists live, and the green bars represent work sites. Your, your colonists will all automatically attempt to distribute themselves among available jobs as they see fit. As you can see, your 16 colonies, uh, well, colonists, uh, currently work at a construction drone station in Iron Mine and the farm we just placed. Let's tell our farm it needs a lots of workers. Select the farm and then change its worker priority to fill. So that would be um right here. And fill. As we can see, the available workers have now moved to the farm, which uh, now has five out of five workers. These additional workers will make your farm significantly more productive, so that's good. Hmm. And here are the social policies, which is uh, this button right here. So, counting control panel, select uh, the powers and tabs, which is this one. And click the check bot to implement the rationing policy. And you should now be familiar with the core concepts of running a colony on Avon Prime. Oh, off the veneer. Or Venar. I'm sure a veneer is, um... Something else entirely. Right, so this is uh Right. I had to push the one key to pause. That'll always trip me up. So I wonder if there's anything I can do about that. So keyboards. Yeah. Well that conflicts with anything, um no. So let's just actually fix this. Yes. This is exactly what I like. So, one is game speed one, game speed two is two, speed is, uh, well, game speed four is, uh, three, and game speed eight is, uh, four. And pause is space. 
which is exactly what I expect. Hmm. Right, so let's see now. I guess I should probably get up some farm. Hmm. Yep, farm is the first thing we're gonna do. Hmm. Right, so I guess uh, the economists can have fun building that, like so. Because I need a farm, like so, and you are storage. Yeah, the, my stupid mouse uh, sometimes just doesn't want to click properly. But oh well, you get what you pay for when you buy some cheap mice. Sometimes it works just fine, other times it just misbehaves itself. Hmm. Right, so... Hmm. I probably need some more Thomas, so... Uh, hmm. Where'd that bar be? Hmm. Welcome. Your colonists have been informed of your arrival. And are eager to see what their leader well, can do for them. Well, guess I have to build a water pump now. And that can be built uh, right now. Hmm. Right, so... Where was the pop cap again? Ah, right here. So, I think I should probably build a, another residential structure. Hmm. Plant you right there. And start building some tunnels out. So I can uh, get over here. And just let the drones. Well, the drones uh, get cracking on it. I wanted to remind you that the mission objectives from my team are here only to guide you. While, while several of these objectives are necessary. Okay. So apparently we can just straight up pause the uh, voice acting in this game with the uh, pause key. So uh, I guess uh, that's handy. Objectives are necessary in order to complete your mission. Your first priority should be the safety of your colony. As an experienced colony governor, we trust your judgment. And I urge you to take your time and put your colonists ahead of your mission. Good luck. Okay. And now they want me to build a wind turbine. Hmm. Let's just, uh, plant you right about there. Why not? And just build a tunnel out to you like so. Good luck. And here comes the power. Right, so another mining facility would be a good idea. Right, so now it's uh about the mine on copper. Mine tier one. Um hmm. Apparently there's a copper node right here, so let's just plant it at the closest one. And now I need some more power. Okay, so we get th five nanites and fifteen corn. Really? That's barely gonna last me a day for the corn. Hmm. So I guess I need more power now. Hmm. Right, so I guess I should put this uh, geothermal generator uh, right here. And then hook it up to the colony. Like so. And get the drones tracking on that one. Like so. And now I have a geothermal vent. Because it doesn't care about uh, the weather. And I have 128 power. That's lovely. Hmm. So I brought uh 2.1 food an hour 
Long 2.1 food, uh, consumed per hour, and I produce 2.2 edible food per hour. Hmm, I really should fix that. Technology. Research, uh, center, yeah, this requires, uh, people, which I'm kind of low on. Hmm. What would the residential stretches? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Let's see, now. Um, hmm. Yeah, I definitely need some habitats. Okay, drones, good cracking. On that, uh, habitat. Right, so that takes care of that, and do I just instantly get the tallest? No, I don't. Hmm, I guess I have to wait there. So, let's actually get the food uh, production, uh, taking them on. Well done. I'm pleased with the progress of your colony. You may select one of the following resources. Quinoa, rice, or 30 nanites. I'll take the nanites. Because I want to build some more food. Hmm. Can you build two, uh, greenhouse? Yes, I can. Hmm. Production zero per hour. That's, um, disturbing to me, so, um, right, you are an outpost. Where is my water? As a copper. Did I just never put it down? Ah. Water pump. Fill. And, um, fill. Hmm. Alright, so you have two inhabitants, um, and I did it more. Hmm. Ah, I should probably build the immigration center. I really wish this was explained to me in the tutorial, but no, let's not explain the how to embed in your colony in the um tutorial, which would make sense. Oh dear. Hmm. Yeah, I'm already seeing a lot of questionable cho choices by the dev. Such as the trashing, uh, four times. There's an actually fifth uh, trash that he didn't see off screen. But I digress. Hmm. Immigration center, let's get you building. So we can actually start getting more people in, which would be handy. And here comes the winter. Right, so... I need some more water production is what you're saying. Right, so I'm gonna produce a water pump here too. And just get those uh, cracking. Actually, we should go on high priority. Jones, get cracking on that, please. Hmm, I hope I don't run out of water. And so far, I'm not running out of water, so that's lovely. Right, so... I actually need the immigration, uh, center on now. Okay, so... we're on Sol 2. And we're just gonna sit here and watch this, uh, construction drone build the immigration center so we can get more people in. Hmm, I wonder why we have so few, uh, people, uh, on the drones. 
Right, so now I can bring in more people, which is lovely. And let's fill you on. Won't fill you up with workers. Because I desperately need the... Uh, workers, so... Hmm. Alright, so I should probably, uh, hold off on building anything more. Because I just need people. Hmm. And I did three more people, which is, uh, brought us up to 19. So that's lovely. Hmm. Alright, so I don't think we're gonna be, uh, doing, uh, that. Murder stretchers. Space Elevator, no. Earth Hitter Center, 420 nanites to build. One Research Center, 72 power, 21 workers. Lovely. Hmm. Right, so I should probably, uh, get some defense buildings up and running. Lightning Tower, nope. Can't build that. Because I am apparently broke on the nanites. Hmm. Yeah, I probably should have, uh, made some, uh... Buildings to, uh, produce nanites. So, um, hmm... Eight, I need fifteen. Recycle you. Recycle you. Hopefully I have the nanites, uh, now. To produce nanites. It's strange enough, you need uh, nanites to produce nanites. Yeah, because I completely missed that. And let's just get this drone cracking on the uh, job of... Actually making sure we had the nanites. Because I screwed up right there. Welcome to the first time play actually playing this game. Hmm... You stretch your own hub. Right, so now you have a nanite processor. Right, so let's make you high priority to build. Like so. And now I have uh, some way of producing nanites, so that's lovely. Your colony could benefit from increased storage capacity. Okay, so it's off to build a mini storage depot. And that requires nanites that I absolutely do not have. Wait, never mind, I have the nanites for it now. Hmm. So I guess you are going there because I have no other choice because of how I built this, uh, Tawny. Oh dear. Hmm, population. Uh, what are the jobs, uh, on fulfillment, uh, looking like? Hmm. Honest, um, you're all healthy, so that's lovely. Oriel is high. 40 jobs out of 55. So I guess we still need, uh, 15 more colonists. But hey, I got that mini storage depot up and running, and I should probably think about building uh, some more electricity buildings. Hmm. Let's see now. Food. Right, so we are producing twice as much food as that uh, than we what we are eating. So it's two food uh, produced for one uh, food consumed. So that's a pretty good ratio. And when the night can comfortably live with... How about water? Okay, so we're producing like 10 times the amount of water that what we actually need, so that's nice. So we actually need help by uh, consuming the water that we're producing. Hmm. Nanites, um, let's see. Now, I should probably build some more mining nodes, so, um, uh, hmm. Right. 
And let's just set you up to the Tommy. Like so. And just let the construction drone uh, get tracking. You know what? Uh, can we actually build some more uh, drones? You are a water pump and you are filled. Hmm. Let's see, now can we actually fill you up? Yes, we can. Hmm. Let's see, now. Population, 58, and... Uh, what's our jobs? Looking like... Hmm. 58 uh, out of 68. Well, 65 jobs uh, filled. Hmm. Let's see, now. Research Center, Tier 1, and that's a bed uh, building. Hmm. I think uh, you might have to be built out uh, somewhere right there. And there goes all my nanites. Lovely. And here comes the winter. And here comes the first research center. And I just realized I have 209 power generated, so that's also lovely. Hmm. Let's actually hook you up. Like so. Yes, the, um, scientists will have to go through the mine to get to the, uh, their place of work, but oh well. I never claim to be the best at, uh, planning. Okay, so now I need to fix our food production crisis that we're going through. Luckily, we've got the nanites to build, uh, tier 2 greenhouses now. Or at least one. So yeah, let's, uh, make the greenhouse job, uh, mass priority. Like so. So we can actually have the food to eat. And now we are producing more food than what we can consume. And that's a good thing. Hmm. So, um, yeah, after digging around in the options menu, I finally found out how to, uh, turn off the Dewey. It's Control, Alt, and X. Like so. In fact, let's just take the thumbnail screenshot right now. Like so. And that's gonna be the thumbnail screenshot that I use for this video. Or it could be something else entirely. I just haven't uh, decided on that one. Yeah, or it could just be a mix. And as it turns out, there is some way of uh, toggling the uh, pause uh, setting on. And that is uh, buried in the keyboard. On the key bindings. Like so. And it's all the way down here. Title pause. Space bar. I don't know why that's not set automatically to spacebar because uh, you think that would be the default, but no, it's not. Because the devs are, um, hmm. Well, they didn't think that through very well, did they? Like the four, uh, four crashes on stream that I got. Hmm. Oh well, that's enough bashing in the devs. So um, let's actually plant down a police drone. Ub. And actually make this colony safer. Yep, we're making this colony safe. For the first time. Well done. I'm pleased with the progress of your colony. You may select Oh, I don't have any room for immigrants, really. Resources. I'll take the nanites. Yoink. Hmm. Population. Oh, I really don't have any room for your immigrants. Uh, residential structures, habitat tier 2. Can I upgrade to you? Hmm. Yes, I can. Where's the outpost? Can I upgrade you? Nope. I can't. Alright, so that's the habitat. So now you have uh, 54 habitats available. Hmm. Let's build another, uh, Tier 2 habitat right next to the geothermal vent. Hmm. How do I, uh, sort out the health? 
Hmm. Fire and grill. Let's plant one of you down. And, um, uh, hmm. Let's actually get the uh, play defenses joined before the play to even hit. Your next population growth target. Okay, so we did 37 candy. And that requires a mill to manufacture in porn syrup and 12 nanites. We have some thoughts on how to improve the air quality in your colony. Okay, so now I need to build an intake pan. And I like the nanites. What's uh, eating all the storage? Oh, we're producing so much food that we don't even have the storage space for it. So, um, that's kind of awkward. Hmm. I really should wait to uh, build anything so I can actually build a proper storage depot. Hmm. And I guess I'm waiting for the 26 nanites, which is right about now. And I guess you can squeeze in right there. Yes, I like to play this game in, uh, Speed 8. How can you tell? Hmm. So that takes care of the storage depot thingy. Yeah, that really did on a lot. So that's good. Hmm. Let's see now. Right, I desperately need some more mining stuff, so, um... Let's actually fill you up. Thank you, top priority. Population, 106 jobs. Hmm. Right. Um. Ah, we have 104 housing, so that's lovely. And area intake plan. Um, hmm. Let's plant you right next to the mine. Speaking of mines, um, hmm. I need some more drones. Which is under here. Construction drone uh, tier one, and I guess we're gonna get this uh, part of the map now. And hey, I get a reward. Told that ain't saying 37 candy. Your colony could really benefit from a trade facility. And it wants me to build a trade hub now. So let's just uh, get tracking on that. Have car station. Hmm. 36 nanites. Which I don't have. And I'm uh, running into the uh, problem of the power. So, um. I might actually have to take care of the uh, power situation first. Hmm. Let's see, now, I think I want the mine tier 2. Plenty there. And let's get the Achi hooked up to the uh, colony. Well, as close as I can. Hmm. Can Achi hook you up all the way? Sort of. It's a spirited attempt at the very least. And now I can hook you up by uh, the rest of the way. And here comes Winter. Hmm. And, um... I should build some power. Hmm. Here goes the rest of my nanites. Hopefully that can address the power uh, crisis we're currently having. Not yet, so let's build another. Hmm. Nope. Air quality has become a problem in your colony. I hope you'll resolve the situation swiftly. Yes, that's what I'm trying to do. Hmm. Can I upgrade you? Yep. Oh, you're in potash mine. Anyone twelve the uh, nanites? So, time to upgrade the geothermal.
Right, so that takes care of the power set crisis we were having. And I need an intake fan. You should go right there. Hmm. Yeah, I really need to work on the morale. So, let's see. Now, that would be under residential stretches, right? Uh, no. Mega stretches? Um. Uh, you require 429, I suppose. I bet somebody uh, on the dev team thought they were real funny with that number. But nope, they weren't. Hmm. Let's actually plant down some decoration. And hopefully boost the uh, morale a little bit. Like so. Yep, plus up an entertainment. What do I do to make you happy, though? Hmm. Defensive, uh, new. Farming, new. Mining, new. Hmm. Oh dear. Well, the game never taught me how to deal with happiness. So I guess it's just gonna have to be some abstract, uh, number that just, uh, screws over this run. Mining and processing? No, why would it be under there? Let's do everything, I swear. Hmm. You think it would be under residential stretches, but it's not. Resource management? Um, no. Hmm. Tunnel? Why would that be it? Yeah, well, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see any of that. Time for a referendum election. Okay, a referendum year has begun. Citizens will cast their ballots at the end of the winter season. You will receive polling updates at the start of each season until voting completes at the end of the year. And you must maintain a majority to keep your governorship. And so far... Right, so I should probably, uh, actually build some farms. Hmm. Farm tier one, um, hmm. Let's throw some rice. Because why not? Hmm. And fill you up. So, you are growing just fine, and let's see now. Power, can you get another geothermal battery? Oh wait, that requires uh, one more nanite. And that requires a construction drone that I do not have in range. Hmm. Let's put a tier two version. And it's within range, so that's lovely. Hmm. Didn't mean to do that, so, um, yeah. Okay, I guess now it's back to waiting for, uh, more nanites. Oh, hey. Okay. Remember, we're all in this together. Hmm. Understood exactly none of that. Hmm. Okay, so let's see now. Hmm. Maybe I should build some more service related. Oh. There's only this button. I feel like an idiot now. 
So I just, uh... It's time to build some bar and grills. Hmm. Alright, so you're being built, so that's lovely. And fill you up. And let's see now. And I should probably build a hospital. Bad news, boss. Your citizens aren't very happy. There's a good chance you might lose the upcoming referendum. Alright, why would I take care of air quality? Hmm. Plenty right there. And let's build another air intake. Right here. Hmm. Did that actually do anything to increase the worker happiness? Um, hmm. Nope. You were literally right next to an air intake then. What are you... I am happy about. I regret to inform you that I won't be voting for you in the next referendum election. Hmm. Oh, it's air quality. Maybe I should get an intake fan too. Hmm, I'm surprised that didn't help with the air pollution. I've compiled the feedback from your citizens, and they're telling me there's a good chance they might vote you out of office. Right, I need hospitals. Hmm. Yeah, uh, something tells me I screwed up this uh, referendum. Oh well. Let's see, now... Oh. I need to condense the uh, geothermal vent that I built over, all the way over here. Here goes a good chunk of my nanas as a uh, saving. Hmm. Let's see, now... I guess I'm just waiting for the hospital. Of any kind. Which is gonna be the tier 1 hospital. Hmm. Right, so we can finally build a hospital. Let's party right here. Literally right next to the habitat. And I won by the skin of my teeth. Literally you have to vote. Okay. So, um, let's see. Now it was, um, Trade Hub, right? And that requires 36 nanites, which I do not have right now. I guess it can be put ponds next to the uh, immigration station. The colony could benefit from more residential space. Okay, so it's Skype Scraper time. Right after I build a trade hub. Right so. And look at those drones go. Okay, so Sky Scraper, 66 nanites. And I'm pretty sure I'm running low on power. Yep, I am. Hmm. Let's see now. I have an idea that might make your colony a better place. Okay, so I need to drop some melons. Lovely. Let's uh, draw some uh, melons, actually. Right here. By the wind power. Hmm. I don't know why these, uh, two, um, three or four squares aren't, uh, hooked up. Hey, there's a cargo pod nearby. I think you should pick it up. Right, so, pick up the cargo pod. Oh, so it has 140 corn, 59 eggs, and 80 rice. Yoink! That's all mine. Hmm. So, how's my water supply doing? Okay, 19.3 consumption per hour, and production is 21.3 per hour. 
And food is 30.4, uh, food per hour can produce, and 18.6, uh, food per hour consumed. Hmm. Let's see now, bar grill two. You should go right there. Hmm. Right, I need some power. Hmm. Let's actually upgrade some geothermal uh, power, though. So, did crouching on that, please, uh, drones? And now I got uh, significantly more power. And I probably also uh, should put in some air filter. It's, uh, right here. Like so. Hmm. Let's, uh, fill you up. Hmm, decontamination unit, okay. Uh, let's also put a hospital over here, because why not? I'd like to facilitate a trade arrangement. Okay, so I brought a uh, hundred millions, five nanites, and seventeen soda. That sounds like a worthless trade deal, but sure. Hmm. 100 melons for 120 porridge. I think I should keep the melons, to be brutally honest with you, because that's not a worthwhile trade deal. The melons are tastier than whatever porridge you can, uh, find. Hmm. You know what? I'm surprised it's almost been an hour since I've started this, uh, video, and I usually... Uh, have these videos going for half an hour. So, um, yeah, I think this is, uh, probably where I'm gonna leave it off unless I can, uh, get the, uh, Earth History Center squeezed in. Hmm. How am I, how much iron am I produce? Oh, I should probably, uh, produce some nanite, uh, structures, so, um, yeah. And that requires, uh, power, which I do not have. Hmm. Let's actually turn on, well, build, uh, solar panels of tier three. Right, so that's, uh, three more solar panels of tier three. And that should sort out the power difficulties that we're having. And it did. Hmm, let's also produce some batteries, because why not? And let's actually finally build some nanite processors, so, um, hmm. You can actually just go right here. This is the your bar and grill. And now you've got another nanite, uh, processor. Hmm. Population, and I need some more houses. So, Sky Scraper, 66 nanites to build, and that requires uh, more power than what I can produce. Lovely. So, maybe some more solar panels, spam. And I can only produce just one of those. And maybe another one. Hmm. Do I have enough power now? Um, hmm. Let's see now. Yep, 66 uh, nanites left. And I got uh, 50 of them currently, so. Hmm. Right, so let's just build a tier one sky scraper and plot you right here. Because why not? Yeah, I guess this is uh this video is gonna gonna go for the full hour. 
Hmm. Let's see now. Oh. I guess I need to slow down on the food production. And speed up the uh, skyscraper production. Because I've got plenty of power. Hmm. Right, so how do I defend myself from that? Defense buildings, um, no, plasma turret, uh... I guess we're building some plasma turrets, so... Find one of you there, and... Another one goes here. And another plasma turret goes here, and that's the entire colony covered. Hmm. Okay, I also need some lightning uh, tower coverage, so... Yep. Just repair that uh, tunnel. And put another lightning tower out here. And the boonies. And I think that's everything. help to balance our supplies on the colony ship. 160 rice, and you get 6 nanites and 18 ta candy. Um, no well, thanks. Could increase the colony's population. Population size, 200. I can do that one. We have some thoughts on how to best expand your colony. Okay, three additional buildings. I'm gonna do that one anyways. Hmm. Population. Oh. I already had the 200, uh, housing. Hmm. Right now, I just need electricity. Hmm, can I have to, uh, no, so geothermal generator, um, can I plant another one down? Somewhere? By the colony, please? Um, services, uh, no. I think I've used up all the available, uh, nodes. Actually, wait. Hmm. Nope. Not a geothermal vent. Bummer! Hmm. Oh dear. Well, I guess I just have to, uh, uh build out these solar panel supplies. Of tier 3s. I just built two more solar panels. Luckily, I've got some batteries. Like so. I really wish I could build these Orium generators. And fortunately, those lightning bolts are just hitting the lightning towers, and that's exactly what I built them for. Hmm, where can you find the Zorium? Hmm. Zorium. Okay, or Zorium. Mining tier 3. Get on that. And it's time to build a tunnel out to there. Because this planet just has to be special and not have the, uh, proper, uh... Atmosphere for us humans to breathe. How lovely! And I can also put down another, uh, tier 3 mine on that, uh, topper. Or either iron. Or maybe I should just have some nanite processors along the way. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. So I guess that's the nanite issues be gone. Hmm. I should probably think about uh, getting some more water production. Hmm. Let's also get a water treatment plant. And plant it right there. And a water pump uh, tier two. And that can go right there. Right, so... That's the water issue uh, sorted. I need help. Um, hmm. Yep. And now that's the water issue sorted. Producing, uh... Uh, about 38, uh... 0.6, uh, per hour. And consuming 29, uh, water per hour. 
That's a pretty good ratio, I do say so myself. Hmm. Okay, so... What about that, uh, Earth History Center? 420. Incoming charge storm. Luckily, I've got defenses in place. And look at them go. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it, that, that wasn't much of an issue for our colony, so that's lovely. I just need power for the, uh, thing that I need to build while I'm here. Oh, hey, I got this Orium now. And it provides power of, to all structures regardless of distance. And that generates up to 360 power. I think that's enough for the mega structure. Yep, it requires 72 power. And I guess that's a power issue, um, sorted. Okay, let's fill you up to capacity. Hmm. Population. Okay, repair. And repair. Let's just repair everything. Hmm, are there any drones that can do that for me? Oh, that's, uh, every... Drone. I don't know why they aren't, uh, doing that job. Automatically. Like they should be. Alright, so, let's see, now... Population... Uh, I've got 212,000, 293 jobs. There's a mismatch there. Let's actually sort that out. With a colony terminal. They can squeeze in right there. And provide 130 colonists. Okay, so... That takes care of that issue. But, uh, we need some more greenhouses, so... Plenty there, plenty there. And there, and there. Greenhouses everywhere. Hmm. I really wish there was some way of, uh, switching... Oh, and there is. So, you can be As torn you know, now. The Constitution guarantees your citizens the right to vote on their colony governor. It looks like that time is upon us again. Okay, there's another referendum here. Lovely. Hmm. Population. Okay, so that's coming along. Average happiness at 69. Nice. And I just need 420 nanites to build this one. Hmm. And now we wait. Because I can produce five uh, per tick. Oh dear. I think you're on track to win this referendum. Okay, so we're winning comfortably this time. With 68 percent of the vote, and I'm ready to complete the goal. Okay, Jones, you can build that Earth History Center. Okay, so it's got a little over the hour. Can't wait to see how big this uh, video file is, because um, the last uh, video that was uh, 47 minutes long, which is the Kingdoms and Castle video, was like 8 gigabytes. That was fun to upload. Cut most of the day. News. Your citizens seem happy with your performance, and I think you have a good chance to win this referendum. Hmm. Let's actually build some, uh, retail centers. Somewhere. Right there. And let's see, now, what do I have in the way of, uh, transportation? Hmm. It was around here somewhere. Part, nope. Hmm. Let's actually put down another storage depot with tier 2. Right there. But I think that can wait until after this Earth History Center is completed. Hmm. It's taking an awful long time, but oh well. Okay, so it's completed. 
this referendum. But here's the feedback I've compiled from the citizens. Okay, so I guess that's the mission complete. Your progress is satisfactory. I'll take you to all the immigrants. We'd like you to expand your colony's population. Right, so let's see now. Pull you up. Okay, so that's, uh, I guess, uh, that completed. Hey, Chief. I got a special objective for you. Hmm. You know, this is where I'm gonna leave it off. Uh, the game only wanted me to build this, uh, Earth History Center thingy. Now that you haven't supported, which it is, so I don't know why that's, um, not firing off. But hey, I guess I've hit the free play mark, so, um, yeah, that was Avon Colony. Links for this game will be in the description below. And I guess I'll see you in the next one tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. Mountain Time, U.S., as per usual. So, I guess I'll see you then. Bye. Thank you.